Uh, if you haven't seen our show before, where have you been? We've missed you. Guys, here's what we're all about. We get together, I don't know, what, 20 minutes or two, three times a week, share some recipes, shoot the breeze, uh, talk about grilling, all things cooking, kitchens, uh, you know, new, new products out there, new equipment. We just have a ball, you guys. That's what it's all about. And today is a pretty fun show. It's pretty special. Look at all the doodads and stuff that we got out here, man. I got burgers. I got pretzel buns. I got toppings. I got mushroom caps for some reason, pulled pork. I got, check this out. Cucamonga Cattle Company uh, spices and rubs here. I got to tell you something, man. A little bit later in the show, we are going to have James Hare on. Now, James, I got to tell you something. This is a barbecue, just a, just a guru, man. This fella winning competitions, traveling the country, getting themselves in magazines as the sauce master. I love that. This fella has developed some of the best sauces and rubs out there. Look at this. Isn't this just the guy that you'd want to see at the barbecue competition? Like when you show up and you think, okay, the guy's got a barbecue for me. That's what he looks like, right? And then he's got the he's got the badass look. I mean, this guy, man, I love him. This is great. We're gonna have him come up live later in the show, so that is gonna be fabulous. So listen, I love my bacon presses. Uh, this is just so that we can get some nice crispy bacon for the recipe we got coming up. There we go. Ooh, she's real dark on the one side. And for this, my goodness, for this, let's make sure that we've got our power spatula. I love this sucker. Here we go. Let's get all of this flipped. All right. There we go. And you guys can just hang over there for a oh, whole that burnt bacon is going to crisp up and go down nice. Now I've got some bacon grease here that I am not going to waste. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of grease over there for our burgers. There we go. So first things first with our burgers. And by the way, we didn't go like uh, uh, small today. Look at these suckers. Big, giant, eight-ounce burgers. I love it. And I'm going to use uh, James's Range Rider, Range Rider spice on this. Look at the size of that spice, man. I love that. That's going to give us a really nice crust. The flavor in these spices and rubs, beautiful. Always make sure you get a good spicy rub for your, for your burger, especially if you got a nice cut of ground meat like I got here, all ground sirloin, nice and lean. There we go. Perfect. So let's get three of these on here. There we go. One. Then we're going to work this on hot, high heat. And three. There we go. And then over here, just because at 650 degrees, holy cow. <laughs> I can feel that when I open it. Let's get that on there. One, two. There we go. All right. I'll deal with you later. There we go. Make sure that when you're doing a burger like we're doing today, like especially with like the bigger patties and stuff, pretzel buns, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, just kind of give you that little recommendation. These are a great thing to use without a doubt. They're so hearty. These can stand up to like the bigger burgers. But you want to make sure that you butter them and you toast them because that's just the best way to have them. Uh, then we're going to do the burgers two ways. We're going to do it on our flat top. We love, uh, we love our flat top in here. If you're working... Uh, in the house or something, then go ahead and just grab your big cast iron pan. That's fun. Uh, so these are going to toast up pretty quick. We don't want to burn them. We just want to give them a nice toast. There we go. <laughs> Things happen fast in the charbroil grill. There we are. Very fast. Oh my goodness. Should we, no, not quite ready to flip yet. That's doing good. Let's go ahead and put our burger press back on these. Keep them nice and shaped. Well, that's going to be, that's going to be a good burger. Guys, uh, what we're doing today with James is something that we started to do with uh, uh, Caden a little while ago, and we'd love to continue it on. If you want to join us on our show, private messages there. There's a little message up there on both uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook where, where we're uh, broadcasting to both at the same time here. Uh, and, and, and if it's something we can have some fun with, you got a really cool recipe to share. Hey, man, we will reach out and try to figure something out. Have you as a live guest at our show? Because really, isn't that what cooking's all about? Isn't that what grilling's all about? Isn't that what getting on Facebook with people who are like-minded is all about? Just getting together and, and doing things you love to do. And for us, it's grilling. It's hanging out in the backyard. It's meeting new friends like James. So, guys, let's do that. I'm going to go ahead. I think James is standing by here. Here we go. Let's bring him on here. James, my man, are you there? I am here. How are you doing? Oh. Mark? <laughs> I'm doing great, my man. So first things first, James, where are you? I'm in Rancho Cucamonga, California, bright and sunny, rainy day. So now this is where the name for the spices came from, I'm guessing, right? I'm guessing, yeah. I'm born and raised in Cucamonga, and that's kind of where it came from. I, I used to watch a movie called Culpepper Cattle Company. And okay. Name. And then Cucamonga Cattle Company hit me one day. and. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. So, hey, listen, how long have you been in the barbecue and spice business, my friend? I've been in barbecue probably about 35 years, just with my dad and, and actually. Um, the rub stuff started in 2000, um, 2011. Uh, we've been been going, trying to build a base since then, and, and we've gone from one rub to four rubs now, working on some sauces and and uh, just trying to get this thing going. I love it. One of the things that you mentioned to me that it really kind of spoke to me, you said you had a lot of butchers that love your product. And when yeah. I hear that, I'm like, okay, these guys, these guys are meat experts or experts. <laughs> yeah, some of our first stores were, were, were butcher shops uh, that actually wow. started selling it, and there's some of our best sellers are still there. So we, we really look forward to getting it into butcher shops. Boy, I'll bet. Asking, you know, what do I use on this? What's a good good seasoning for this cut of meat? Like, I love it. I love it. Hey, so listen, on my burgers, I used your, uh, uh, which one did I use here? I used your Range Rider. You know why you picked this one? I love this. Uh, I'm just going to open this up here so everybody can see. Look at how thick that is, man. Look at that. Look at the size of the stuff in there. That's what creates that crust, baby, on your burgers, your chicken, your chops. Make sure, like I said, when you're working with rub, that you're going to do your burgers. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I on point there? Listen to me. Listen to me teaching the expert. Hey, James, <laughs> listen up. While I tell you about your spice, don't talk. No, go ahead, man. <laughs> yeah, that one was, was designed for beef, and beef is, has that thick flavor. You want to bring it out, so you, have, you want those big chunks on there, so you can, you can taste that as you're getting the beef. You get the beef, you get the salt, you get the pepper, you get the, all the flavors in there, and it really makes that taste like a, a real beefy burger, as opposed to just a burger that you get. You know I mean? Right. Exactly. Exactly. I love that. See what we're doing here? We're, we're, we're flipping things over on the flat top. And I mean, this is what James is talking about. You see what that spice rub did? That's what creates that just beautiful crust, man. Hey, uh, so listen, guys, a little bit of a tip for you. Come on in here. Uh, remember, uh, burgers are about three things. James, I think, will back me up. The meat, the bun, and the toppings. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, listen, the meat's got a little bit of a lot of help from the spices that you put on it. So, I mean, we, we set ourselves right up beautifully with James's rub. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to dress these burgers just like this. We're going to make this simple because we're going to let the meat and we're going to let the rub and we're going to let this recipe that we're going to talk about. Look at these. Look at these things. What in the world? And this is from the same place I get my five pound chicken breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, so listen, uh, uh, you had mentioned you do a lot of barbecue competitions, things like that, James. Um, uh, what's one of the, some of the last ones you've been in? Or do you have any favorite memories of stuff that you've got in before we dive right into this recipe here? Well, I'm a barbecue judge, first and foremost. I do that more than I do compete. We uh, we get out there whenever we get a chance, and uh, it's just it's so much fun to get out there and compete against these guys or, or just watch them cook. We learn so much um, about not just barbecue, but cooking in general. These guys aren't just barbecue guys. These guys, these boys can cook. So. Absolutely. What what a great point. What a great point. You know, the, 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 the they say you are the average of the five people you hang out with the most. That's my matchbook lesson for the day, everybody. <laughs> Write that down. Right? So <laughs> if you're hanging out with barbecue legends and, and, and guys like that, what do you think is going to happen, right? All right, so yeah. let me check the burgers, James. And you and I are going to get into this recipe. And I got to tell you, this was, a, this was a fun one. When you told me about it and everything behind it, I thought, my goodness, I can't wait to try this. So uh, first of all, James, tell me what it is and why you kind of came up with this recipe and how it makes life so much easier if you love this kind of thing. Go for it, man. I can give you the whole name, which is Cucamonga Cattle Company Double Barrel Jalapeno Pop. Pulled pork jalapeno popper dip, which is a mouthful. Your, your manufacturing label guy is going to hate you. Oh, I know. No, this is just popper dip. Um, you know, jalapeno poppers are really good. Um, they're really worth, uh, intensive trying to get them together. And, you know, you make up 40 of them, you get them out on the tray, and then there's that one guy who's never had one, he grabs one, takes a bite, oh, it's spicy, and doesn't eat it. And it's like, well, that was, there goes 10 minutes worth of work. So, I came up with this with the leftover uh, filling that we had from making the poppers. I thought, well, let's just put it in a tray, and then I decided that, well, let's just add the, the jala more jalapenos into it, because we had some in there, but we had double the jalapenos, and you doubled it i was yeah. i you know what i gotta cut you off there for a second because i was gonna call you this afternoon when i was putting this together again and i'm like okay i made this once earlier but this is calling for nine to twelve jalapenos and i bought big ones and i'm like is this right so you just answered my question without me even asking it thanks for that yes yeah. because <laughs> we had jalapeno we have a little bit of jalapeno in in the, the actual filling that little bit little bit of a kick but in order to make it seem like you're getting a, jal a jalapeno popper you need more jalapeno so Yes, that's exactly right. You know, that's that's just like you know, salt and sugar. 
I love it. I love it. All right, so I'll tell you what. Uh, we got you on there. We got you on the big screen, guys. For those of you who are unaware, you are watching uh, James uh, from the Cucamonga Cattle Company, and he's going to put together, uh, and, I, and I've got my stuff ready here too, uh, uh, just the best darn dip. And he nailed it, man. If you like bacon-wrapped jalapenos, and you've ever tried to make bacon-wrapped jalapenos for a crowd of people, that is the last time you are going to offer bacon-wrapped jalapenos at your party. I'm telling you right now. Okay? So this is a great way to get that taste and flavor. So, James, first step is uh, we got to do these peppers. And I know that you've got one lined up just so, you, you know, you can show people exactly how you'd like the peppers cut and exactly how I did it wrong, I'm sure. No, 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 no. no. There's no wrong or right way to do it as long as you get them I love him. There's no right or wrong. That's good. Um, but we do start. You just take the tail off and get rid of that. And cut them in half. And your favorite tool is this spoon. You get in there, on there, you're done. Get in there, drag it along, oops, fling it, and you're done. That way you got you're ready to go. So then I just drill in these, stick them, however you want to call it. Make them into uh -huh. about Quarter to eight inch, quarter to an eighth of an inch on these. You just want to get them so that somebody, because each jalapeno has a little bit of different flavor. So sometimes you get a hot one and a cold one and a cool one, right. not so hot. This way it's all mixed up and you've got a ton of these in there. You, you just throw them in there and you're ready to go. Nice. So I'll tell you what. Uh, you've got your stuff there. I got my stuff here. So let's go ahead and both put ours together. Uh, now I, I was going to go the spoon route, but if you want, you guys grab yourself a pair of rubber gloves. They're always so much fun with rubber gloves. Yeah. <laughs> let's get this one's a hard our... one with a spoon. What's that? This is a hard one with a spoon. I uh, yeah, it's a hard one with a spoon is right. All right. So I get some cheese in there. I'm going to leave a tiny little bit, just the top on there. Now I've got a pound here right of that of, of pulled pork that we made earlier in the week and james said make sure you save it for this recipe because you want to add some uh, like uh, adding a protein to this is just fantastic so pulled pork we got there that's fantastic and of course hello the most important ingredient what the heck's going on here that double barrel spice three tablespoons man we're gonna know it's there <laughs> there we go one two three and a half. <laughs> Why not, right? There we go. So here, let's do this. This is very satisfying. There we go. Mix it all together. Now, I, I got a confession for you, brother. I, I <laughs> When I made one <clears throat> earlier today, I added half the bacon at this point. So basically, the one I'm going to pull out of the oven is a bacon dust and bacon popper jalapeno <laughs> thing and i added the rest on top and, and that's why I'm, I, I'm glad you said earlier there's no mistakes in this because no. i made one and <laughs> it's not a mistake you just did it in a different order than i did that's right no no i didn't do it in a different order i crushed i crushed them in there instead of on top that's but that's right. good it's a nice that's contrast a, everything i have is mixed in i love it i, I love it so here's what i'm gonna do okay i used to put yeah i used to sprinkle the top with with the bacon and with the jalapenos and and try to do the whole thing but okay you know what when it's all said and done, everybody just wants to eat this stuff. They don't care if it's pretty. They don't care if it's, you know, on the plate, on a dish, on the dog bowl. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to press this out into my pan here, just like that. Now we're going to do some fun stuff with this. Like, yes, this is great for crackers and stuff like that. But wait till you see what we're going to do with this. So I've got my dip there. That's hanging out, doing good. I'm going to take my rubber gloves off here. There we go. And I take my bacon. Here we go. And I'm just going to crush it. I'm just going to crush it right on top. There we go. Crush that crunchy bacon right. There's going to be big pieces. There's going to be little pieces. There's going to be dark pieces. This is fantastic. What a recipe, man. I am so glad that we got a hold of each other for this. Here we go. There we go. All right. I got to give my hands a little bit of a wipe, and we are going to start putting together some really good burgers. How would we do, brother? Did we get it right? It looks good to me. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to pop this right in here come on over here trish and have a look so remember if you're not dealing with this uh, with a smoker everybody go ahead and, and use uh, use your oven 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes and just like that oh, oh there's the bubble i love the bubbling the all right the one-handed cloth thing is a terrible idea there we go so perfect you guys we have this beautiful finished dip you got to see this here we go oh it's, look at james's james went all like 
round dish and a beautiful little circle of jalapenos. I'm going to take mine off right now. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Isn't that great? Oh. So here's the first thing I want to do with this, James. Just so I'm going to get it right. We got a few people coming over, and I know that we got a guest or two that loves stuffed mushrooms. So I don't know if you've ever tried. Have you ever tried this with stuffed mushrooms? You know what? I don't get out much. You are funny. <laughs> you should join us live more often. I get some great ideas for your dip. <laughs> so let's get that on in there. I'm going to pop that in the oven. And then we're going to put these burgers together, and we're going to have a taste of this because, man, alive. Uh, you know what? We've, we've been chatting back and forth, James, what, for two weeks, I would about say? That, yeah. Is that about right? Yep. That's man, right. I've been looking forward to this, brother. Let's build some burgers. Let's build some burgers. All right, so listen, while I build the burgers, James, uh, if you can do me a favor, uh, you had told me uh, a couple of stories about, uh, you know, just traveling around doing barbecue with your dad. I would love, love, love if you could tell us a little bit more about that because I just, I love hearing stuff like that. You know, you started with my dad 35 years ago. What are some of your favorite memories, like cooking with your dad and barbecuing with your dad? Well, we used to do, out here, so out here in California, we have a lot of horses out here. And um, my dad had horses. We go on trail rides three, two or three days over the weekend, and uh, my tiny little butt didn't didn't like uh, the horse. You get tired right. of being on the horse. So I started going with the trucks, setting up camp, and uh, being the little guy, I got stuck watching the food. And it was always barbecue. It was always something big, whether we had ribs or whole hog or or half cow, whatever we were doing. <laughs> it was it. it was crazy. So I, I, love uh, it. I learned doing that and then that's uh, great kind of gave it up for a while. Then uh, later on in life, I got back into it and that's where this stuff all came together. That's fantastic. That's a, that's such a great story, man. I, I love hearing that. I really do. And my, my favorite part of it is the, the I, I didn't want any part of that. So I just learned how to cook. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you were the, you're ate. the smartest guy out there. <laughs> I love it. Get around. Look at this here, Trish. Can we get a close up on this going on here? This is just the, the ever. right. I'm, 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 I'm holding off for just a second. I want to get the burgers built here, and I'm going to take a little bit by itself. Did you hear what Trish just said? Did you catch that? We've got her mic'd up, but I don't know how loud we've got her. Yeah, I heard her. I, That's I, right. I, That's right. Good. And you, you told me, James. You said you're going to try this, and you're going to say that's the best dip you've ever yeah. had. Right, and Trish was not on that call. So here we go. We got our burgers all done here. These are these are just a thing of beauty. Look at those. Holy cow! All right, so I got my serving spoon in here, but we got a fork. All right, so I'm gonna get some some bacon, some cream cheese. What I like about this is it's a nice light dish. So, yeah. you know, if you've been working on your COVID-15 and you're looking to trim that off, this is not the way to go. Right. So here. Okay, I'm gonna come in here. I'm not handing it to you, man. You already had some. I'm not handing it to you. I'm just showing everybody. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Are you taking it from me again? I'm gonna try some first. Oh. Wow. James, you told me that this was gonna knock my socks off. That this was just gonna well, you didn't say that was a quote, you're cooler than that. <laughs> but you told me how fantastic this was gonna be, and holy cow, were you right? Guys, everybody watching this, everybody on our channels, Facebook, YouTube, this is a recipe you absolutely have to try. We're going to throw a link to the recipe down below. We're going to throw a link to James's Spices down below. Man, I can taste it all in there. That's fabulous. All right, let's cut into one of these burgers, man. Let's cut into one of these burgers. You got a, you got a front row seat to this, brother? I want you to see these burgers. I got, I got a barbecue judge on my hands here. You guys realize that? I mean, at the same time that we're hanging out talking about his spices and his, his Cucamonga Cattle Company and all the great stuff in California, these cool stories with his dad. At the end of the day, all right, little old Mark here in a little old backyard in Florida has a barbecue judge in front of him. So I'm going to I'm gonna get a couple, a couple of pointers here, which I'm loving. Hey, before we cut into these, James, I noticed that you've got a heck of a setup back there. I'm going to make you a little bit bigger on the screen. Can you give us a, like a little bit of a tour of the, oh, yeah. uh, of the stuff you got? Let's have a peek yeah. here. Go for it. We've got the Blackstone. We've got uh, Santa Maria. Okay. Oklahoma Joe's offset with a gas guy next to it. I've got a Traeger, my workhorse, because I, I like to do my test cooks in that, but I don't have to think. Um, pit Barrel. I've got a Weber. I've got a Weber with Smoky Mountains, 18 and 22. Uh, I've got a couple others in the garage that I don't have out here just because it's raining, but yeah. Oh no! Do we catch you raining out there? Oh man, we have we've had eighty degree weather 
for the last two weeks and yesterday and today decided, hey, let's rain. Right up till showtime, right? There we go. Let's get a little little side by side going just like that. Perfect. And yes, those are the spices that just bring out the flavor in this. That's what we created the pulled pork with. That is what we created the burger with. That's what we created the dip with, man. It is all in there. So here we go. By the way, here's a little tip for you. I love my electric knife. Right, and you go into cut into burgers, and you want to you know, that that little clean bit. That I'm not, I'm not selling you one of these. I just, I love my electric knife. It's just such a clean cut, man. Here we go. Oh, oh man, there it is. There it is. Oh, little, little on the dry side. I'm gonna lose points here. I'm almost sure of it. We we talk too long. <laughs> let's let's cut in to the charbroil one there we go that was the uh that was the blackstone one and here we go well here's a little tip for those of you that get long-winded when you're chatting with good friends on the internet and you dry your burger out a bit that's why you put a tomato in there <laughs> james hey man thank you so much for joining us i'm going to take a giant bite of this because i've been i've been waiting for this all week with this yeah, dip on there that. and a whole nine yards what's that good luck with that <laughs> there we go all right that's a big one Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-oh. I locked my... That was so good. My earpiece flew out of my head. Huh? <laughs> Did I get the back? <laughs> oh, my goodness. James, that is so good. That's like the best dip I've ever had. What a topping for a burger. Can't wait for those mushrooms. <laughs> Guys, those mushrooms thank you so much. Really good. Oh, oh, my God, those are good. We got a lot of people to feed. James, thank you guys so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate you hanging out, man. Appreciate you having us, Mark. You got it. We will see you soon. I got some meeting to do, baby. Guys, get these rubs. They're fantastic. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.